Good morning, folks. We had a break from solar flares after the uptick we reported yesterday morning, but there is a chance for more flares today. We're going to look at heliobiology in a special issue and space radiation risk to flights during large solar blasts. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and you can see it was a much quieter day with only minor pops at a couple sunspots, no significant flares or eruptions of plasma. The solar wind at Earth is also calm, along with geomagnetic conditions. The sunspots that had been producing those flares, and which are directly facing Earth today, are in decay on the northern hemisphere, but the southern group is gaining complexity and so is the incoming group nearer to the limb, on the left. NOAA space weather forecasting suggests a good chance of flares today, and of course there is that massive plasma filament as well. The thin dark ropes can also erupt dramatically, and that's the other thing we're watching for today. First up in the articles is the special edition of Heliobiology aimed at finding influences of solar and geomagnetic activity on human health, specifically as it is related to the circadian rhythm. There are actually several articles within the special edition, and this is one of the ways that solar storms and Earth's changing magnetic field affect our sleep, immune function, cellular processes, and even psychological parameters. The other article in focus today is one that peeks through the keyhole of direct radiation risk from solar protons. It models the great Charlemagne event flare more than 1200 years ago to find that polar region areas would receive a substantial dose of space radiation. The only problem is that it focuses only on the solar proton surges to Earth along the interplanetary magnetic field and not the energetic electrons which hit equatorial and mid-latitude regions. The Sun can of course go much bigger than that super flare event, and with Earth's weakening magnetic field their models are leaving out the increased vulnerability of our planet, but at least they're looking. We greatly appreciate your support. Find all your resource links below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.